In this episode, we're talking about one of the 21st century's hottest superstars, Bruno Mars. We're gonna cover his music, of course, and the moves, but there's so much more about Bruno to love, like that time he taught us all how to brush our teeth. So turn up your stereo and dust off your dancing shoes, because here is Bruno Mars' The Best Parts. Don't believe me, just watch. Let's start with the obvious, shall we? The best part of Bruno is clearly his music. He's got three records under his belt so far. 2010's Doo-Wops and Hooligans, Unorthodox Jukebox from 2012, and 2016's 24 Karat Magic. And guess what? They're all amazing albums, and they're all pretty different. Basically, if you're a fan of parties, dancing, horn sections, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, then Bruno is your man. Just throw on a little uptown funk and watch that dance floor fill up. Bruno's got influences ranging from Little Richard and Michael Jackson to Freddie Mercury and Sly Stone. And he wasn't only influenced by the music. Bruno Mars is famous for his showmanship. Here's something cool. Little Bruno was an Elvis impersonator. Don't believe us? Here he is at age four, performing a Christmas song as Elvis at the Aloha Bowl. Bruno. His early brush with fame also taught him at a very young age how to deal with the occasional awkward interview. My next guest on my show is Bruno. <laughs> Yay. You having a good time? Yeah. Or is it pretty boring, huh? No. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I guess my questions. Blink twice if you need help, Bruno. In fact, the king of rock and roll influenced the whole family. We do own uh, an Elvis Presley memorabilia shop in Hawaii. His uncle was also an Elvis impersonator, and he's got a sister named Presley. Yep, Bruno Mars had a really interesting childhood. He was born in Hawaii to performer parents, and he and his siblings played together in a family band. Just say you will, say you will. Actually, he still performs in a family band. His brother Eric is the drummer for the hooligans. Bruno never stopped the music hustle. After high school, he left Hawaii for Los Angeles to take a shot in the music industry. And while he wasn't an overnight success, his rise to fame came quickly. In 2009, Bruno co-wrote Flowrider's Right Around, followed by B.O.B.'s Nothing On You, which he sang on as well. Then he came right back riding with Trivin McCoy on his smash hit Billionaire. I wanna be a billionaire so freaking bad by all of the things I never had. Here's a cool fact. That young Hawaiian man who made his way to California was not really named Bruno Mars. What? Even though the name Bruno Mars makes him seem like a super cool alien who came down to Earth to teach us all how to be funky again, his real name is in fact Peter Gene Hernandez. His father nicknamed him Bruno when he was a little boy, after the professional wrestler Bruno San Martino. Bruno once again, slam into the far side of the ring. The Mars he chose for himself. He said a lot of girls say I'm out of this world, so I was like, I guess I'm from Mars. Maybe this is a little shallow, but here's something great about Bruno Mars. He always looks cool. I'm Bruno Mars. And I'm... <laughs> There's no humble way of doing that. <laughs> Hey, I'm Bruno Mars, I'm Billboard's Artist of the Year. And is kind of a dreamboat. At his core, Bruno is a romantic. He said that he wrote Just The Way You Are because he didn't think there were enough songs speaking directly to girls, instead of just about them. More of that? Uh, yes please. But it's not just girls who think he's out of this world. Everyone does. Two of his videos have over a billion views on YouTube. <laughs> That's right, billion. With a B. Another cool part? He's actually part of a songwriting collective called The Smeezingtons, which consists of Bruno, Philip Lawrence, and Ari Levine. The Smeezingtons rose to fame before Bruno did as a solo artist. So yeah, Bruno's got the voice, the feet, and the charisma, but he's got the songwriting talent too. And now, let's take a brief moment to check out some moves. Here's a great thing about Bruno. Did you know at age 29, he was the youngest artist to have ever headlined the Super Bowl halftime show? Well, now you do. In 2014, to be exact, he made an additional appearance at the 2016 halftime show. And between those two appearances, he shared the Super Bowl stage with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Queen Bee herself, Beyonce. While we're talking numbers, 
Seven of his songs are among the best-selling singles of all time. I know you know him. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. Grenade. Let's still catch a grenade for you. The lazy song. Day I don't feel like doing anything. Locked out of heaven. I've been locked out of heaven. When I was your man. That I should have bought you flowers and held your hand. Treasure. And Uptown Funk. Cause Uptown Funk don't give it to you. Cause Uptown Funk don't give it to you. He's had number one hits all over the world, and his records Doo-Wops and Hooligans and Unorthodox Jukebox have gone multi-platinum. In fact, the only other performer in history to have five number one singles so quickly was one that Bruno is intimately familiar with. Mr. Elvis Presley. What do you think are the best parts about Bruno Mars? Share your favorite songs, videos, and stories with us in the comments. And subscribe to our channel. We'll be right back here next week to talk about all the best parts of our favorite stuff. Thanks for watching.